Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to our new series in which we will be explaining how to write a test case and a bug report. This series is small, it consists of only three videos. The first video is an introduction, the second video is about writing test cases, and the third video is about bug report writing. Let's start with the introduction. First, before we learn how to write a test case or a bug report, we need to know some basic concepts. Most of you may know them already, but I have to explain them. So first, this is the waterfall model. This is the way that we develop our software, or this is the most basic way to develop our software. First, we begin with the requirements analysis, then we do our design, then the developer writes his code and after the developer finishes writing his code the testing begins and then after deployment we may make maintenance or we may not need it so here in waterfall model testing comes after development this means that if you are going to write test cases in waterfall model you will write test cases after the end of the development so this is the place of test case writing in the waterfall model. Then we have the V model. We said that the V model, each development activity on the left has a corresponding testing activity on the right. For example, while we are gathering the business requirements, the tester writes the acceptance tests. What does this mean? That means that the tester writes the test cases for acceptance testing while we are gathering business requirements. So when do we write test cases in the V model? We write it while we are gathering requirements. We write our test cases. This depends on business requirements, system requirements, high level design and low level design. But when do we execute them? We execute them also after coding. So what is the difference between waterfall and V model? In waterfall, we design test cases, we write them, and we execute them after development. But in V model, we write test cases before development, before coding, but we execute them after development. The last thing that you need to understand before writing test case is the fundamental test process. What is the test process? The test process is the process that we go through while we are testing our software. First, we begin with test planning, okay? We plan for our testing and control, which means that we compare between our actual progress and expected progress. Then test analysis and design. Test design, this is test case writing. So when do we write test cases in the test process? We write it in test design, after planning and after analysis. But when do we execute these test cases? While we are doing test implementation and test execution. So these are the three basic concepts that that you need to understand before writing test cases and bug reports so that you know when do we try test cases you can imagine this task is done when in our project okay so let's go to the next video